वेलकम एवरीबडी टू योर चैनल कॉम्पिटेटिव मीडिया टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस करंट अफेयर्स एम सी क्यू ऑफ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू फोर्थ वीक सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंडियन एक्ट्रेस हैज बीन कन्फर्ड विद द इंटरनेशनल एसोसिएशन of working women awards 2022 answer is option a sushmita sen sushmita sen is a former miss universe and she has been conferred the international association of working women award she was awarded for her performance in a tv series named arya now one more important fact actor model harnaz sandhu has been crowned as miss universe in december 2021 next question which among the following pair has won the mixed double title at the sayed modi international badminton tournament in january 2022 So your answer for this question is option A, Ishan Bhatnagar and Tanisha Krasto. So, Ishan Bhatnagar and Tanisha Krasto have won the mixed doubles title at the Sayed Modi International Badminton Tournament. They defeated Hema Nagendra Babu and Shri Vedya Gurazada in the summit. Now. Badminton World Federation was founded on 5th of July 1934 and the headquarters of Badminton World Federation is at Kuala Lumpur Malaysia and the president of Badminton World Federation is Paul Eric Hoyer Larsen Next question Subhash Chandra Bose Abda Prabandhan Puraskar 2021 has been awarded to so it has been awarded to option B Vinod Sharma so the Gujarat Institute of Disaster Management and professor Vinod Sharma have been selected for the Subhash Chandra Bose Abda Prabandhan Puraskar 2022 they have been selected for their work in disaster management which of the following hymns has been dropped by the central government from 2022's beating retreat ceremony so your answer is option a and can it be okay so the central government has decided to drop the abide with me hymn sorry the answer is very much sorry the answer is not option a answer is option d abide with me okay so the central government has decided to drop the abide with me hymn from 2022's beating retreat ceremony now abide with me was written by scottish anglican poet henry francis lyot in 1847 okay it has been part of the beating retreat ceremony since 1950 and now this hymn has been replaced by the song a mere watan ke logo who has won the women single title at the sayed modi international badminton tournament in january 2022 answer is option a pv sindhu so pv sindhu has won the women single title at the sayed modi international badminton tournament 2022 she defeated malvika bansod in the summit now the event was held at the babu banarsi indoor stadium lucknow and it was pv sindhu's second sayed modi title after she have won the bwf world tour super 300 event in 2017 so first title she have won in 2017 and this is her second title 
Now, Badminton World Federation was founded on 5th of July 1934. Headquarters is in Kuala Lumpur. And the president of Badminton World Federation is Paul Eric Larson. And one more important fact that Kidambi Shrikant has become the first Indian man to win a silver medal at BWF World Championship. Okay, so he is the first Indian man to win silver medal at the BWF World Championship. Next question, which movie has won the best film award in the Asian film competition section at the 20th Dhaka International Film Festival in January 2022? Your answer is option C, Koos Hangal. Clear? Now, Koos Hangal from India has won the best film award in the Asian film competition section at the 20th Dhaka International Film Festival. Now, this film has been directed by P.S. Vinodraj. And one more important award, the Best Actor Award was given to Jaya Surya for his film, Sunny. Yeah. Next. Apna Kangra app has been launched by the Chief Minister of which state? So, it is your option B, Himachal Pradesh. So, Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Jairam Thakur launched the Apna Kangra app. Now, this app will give a unique experience to the tourist who plan to explore various destinations in the Kangra district. Now, the Chief Minister has also inaugurated Radhe Krishna Kao Sanctuary at Luthan in the Jwalamukhi Vidhan Sabha area of Kangra. This also keep in mind. Who among the following has won the ICC Men's Test Cricketer of the Year for 2021? Answer is option D, Joy Root. Yeah. So, ICC full form is International Cricket Council. It was founded in 1909 by representatives from England, Australia and South Africa. In 1965, it was renamed as International Cricket Conference. In 1989, it was renamed the International Cricket Council and its headquarters is in Dubai, UAE. Please keep this all in mind. Important facts. Next. Who among the following was conferred with the Netaji Award 2022 by the Netaji Research Bureau. So, the award has been conferred to option D, Sinzo Abe. Clear? So, former Prime Minister of Japan, Sinzo Abe, was conferred with the Netaji Award 2022 by the Netaji Research Bureau. Now, Sinzo Abe had served as the PM of Japan from 2006 to 2007. And again, from 2012 to 2020, thus making him the longest serving prime minister in the history of Japan. Okay. Now, Netaji Bureau, Netaji Research Bureau was founded in 1975 and the founder was Shishir Kumar Bose. Clear? And Japan capital is your Tokyo and Japan currency is Japanese yen. Next question, which among the following has been named as the winner of Rachel Hehoi Flint Trophy for the ICC Women's Cricketer of the Year in January 2022? So, this has been won by your option A, Smriti Mandhana. Clear? Yeah. Now, next question, the Lucknow franchise of the IPL will be called as so, the Lucknow franchise of the IPL will be called as Lucknow Super Giants. Option D is your correct answer. So, the Lucknow franchisee, which is owned by the RPSG group of the Indian Premier League, will be called as Lucknow Super Giants. Clear? Now, the RPSG group is owned by Sanjeev Goenka. 
लखनऊ एंड अहमदाबाद विल बी द टू न्यू टीम्स इन द आईपीएल फ्रॉम 2022 सो लखनऊ एंड अहमदाबाद विल बी द टू न्यू टीम्स ओके नो आईसीसी फुल फॉर्म इज इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट काउंसिल इट वाज फाउंडेड ऑन 15th ऑफ जून 1909 द हेड क्वार्टर्स इज इन दुबई यूएई चेयरमैन ऑफ आईसीसी ग्रेग बार्कले एंड सीईओ ऑफ आईसीसी जे ऑफ अलाडाइज क्लियर India celebrates its National Voters Day to mark the founding day of the Election Commission of India. On which of the following days it is celebrated? So it is celebrated on twenty fifth of January, the National Voters Day. Okay. So National Voters Day is celebrated every year on twenty fifth January. Now the day is celebrated to raise awareness. among the citizens of india on their voter rights and duties now the theme for 2022 was making elections inclusive accessible and participative now election commission was formed in 1950 and the first national voters day was celebrated in 2011 keep this in mind clear who is the author of the book the angels of kalash so it has been written by option b shubhra prasad clear so shubhra prasad is the author of the book title the angels of kalash and her first book was titled the demons of jetraya clear who has been appointed as the chairperson of the pmla adjudicating authority located in delhi so the chairperson of this authority is vinodanand jha option a is your answer vinodanand jha has been appointed as the chairperson of pmla full form is prevention of money laundering act adjudicating authority which is located in delhi now this authority is tasked to adjudicate the cases of attachment of assets which are ordered issued under the prevention of money laundering act okay these are its task which among the following has launched a special train to commemorate आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव सो इट हैज बीन लॉन्च बाई डेली मेट्रो ऑप्शन सी सो द डेली मेट्रो रेल कॉर्पोरेशन हैज फ्लैग ऑफ अ मेट्रो ट्रेन एज पार्ट ऑफ द ऑन गोइंग आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव नाउ द ट्रेन विल रिमेन इन सर्विस थ्रू आउट द पीरियड ऑफ आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव नाउ द दिल्ली मेट्रो इज बाई फार द लार्जेस्ट and the busiest metro rail system in india and it is also the second oldest after kolkata metro okay and delhi metro began its operation on 24th of december 2002 keep this date in mind also okay himachal pradesh state hood day is celebrated every year on so it is celebrated every year on 25th of january option a is your correct answer so 25th january is celebrated as the statehood day of himachal pradesh now the state of himachal pradesh act was passed by the parliament on 18th december 1970 and the new state was formed on 25th of january 1971 one more important fact the first chief minister of himachal pradesh was dr yashwant singh parmar and himachal pradesh became the 18th state of the union indian union it is the 18th state of the indian union clear yeah? india's first graphene research and development incubation center will be set up in so it will be set up in kerala option c is your answer 
the digital university kerala along with the center for materials for electronics technology trichur so these two are going to do it will set up india's innovation center for graphene now it is country's first graphene research and development incubation center and tata steel limited will be the industrial partner of the center okay it will be the industrial partner of the center who tata steel limited in which of the following union territory jerry hamlet has been declared as the first milk village of the ut so it is your jammu and kashmir option a jammu and kashmir so jerry hamlet in the union territory of jammu and kashmir has recently been declared as the first milk village of the union territory and 57 more dairy farms have been approved under the integrated dairy development plan for hamlet now there are 73 individual dairy units in this village with 370 cows clear so jerry hamlet is the first milk village of jammu and kashmir ut clear now next india has recently south unesco world heritage tag for the living root bridge built in which state so the, this living root bridge is built in meghalaya option c is your answer clear so india has recently south unesco world heritage tag for the suspension bridge by the name living root bridge built over small streams in meghalaya clear now they are made using the roots of living plants theek hai they are made using the roots of living plants and these root bridges are common in meghalaya and these bridges are locally called zing zihang bridge sorry zing zang zari okay keep remember this name also prime minister narendra modi will inaugurate the 216 ft statue of ramanuj acharya in which city on 5th february so it will be done in hyderabad option d is your answer so prime minister narendra modi will inaugurate a 216 ft statue of ramanuj acharya in hyderabad city on 5th feb shri ramanuj acharya was the 11th century saint and revolutionary social reformer theek okay? hai the statue is located in a 45 acre campus in shamshabad on the outskirts of hyderabad in telangana and the idol has been made at a cost of rupees 1000 crores clear and it is in shamshabad which is on the outskirts of hyderabad in telangana which is the only indian film to get nominated at the 94th academy awards so it is marakar also and jay bhim also option d is your answer both a and b clear so the academy awards also known as oscar awards released the list of 276 films which are eligible for the awards for 2022 now tamil legal drama jay bhim and mohan lal's malayalam film marakar are the only indian films to get nominated at the 94th academy awards okay now these academy awards are the awards for artistic and technical merit in the film industry the academy of motion pictures arts and sciences conducts this academy awards and the first award was presented in 1929 by douglas fairbanks in the hollywood roselvet hotel So the first award was given in 1929. Keep this in mind also. Clear? Next. 
which of the following companies has become decacon after it raised 700 million dollars in a round led by the us asset manager invesco so the company is swiggy option c so first of all what is decacon so decacon is a term for startups valued at over 10 billion dollar okay now food delivery platform swiggy has closed the 700 million dollar round led by us asset manager invesco so swiggy's current valuation is your 10.7 billion dollar thus making it a decacon and it has also emerged as the second most valuable privately held startup after the educational technology firm byju's okay so it is also the second most valuable privately held startup and on the first position is byju now swiggy was founded in 2014 the ceo is shri harsha majeti and the headquarters of swiggy is bangalore clear next who has been appointed as india sherpa for g20 so the answer is option a piyush goel clear now piyush goel union commerce and industry minister has been appointed as india sherpa for g20 he held a virtual meeting with the french g20 sherpa emmanuel bon important india will hold the g20 presidency from 1st december 2022 and will also convene the g20 leader summit in 2023 now what is g20 g20 is an intergovernmental forum which consists of 19 countries and the european union so the list of 19 countries and the european union are as follows this is your list argentina france japan south africa australia germany republic of korea turkey brazil india mexico united kingdom canada indonesia russia united states china italy saudi arabia and european union so this is the list of g20 okay keep this in mind which of the following states has allowed state government employees to work 5 days a week so it has been allowed by chatisgarh option d is your answer clear yeah. so chatisgarh state government has allowed its state government employees to work 5 days a week now chatisgarh cm is bhupesh baghel the governor of chatisgarh is anushuya ukai the capital is raipur Lok Sabha seats in Chhattis in Chhattisgarh is eleven. Rajya Sabha seat is five. Okay, the state bird of the state is common hill myna, and the state animal is wild water buffalo. Yeah. Who among the following became the first female fighter jet pilot to be part? of the indian air force w in 2021 so it is your option a bhavana kant clear so in 2021 flight lieutenant bhavana kant became the first female fighter jet pilot to be part of the indian air force w clear now one more important fact which is regarding current year india's first woman rafael fighter jet pilot shivangi singh was part of the indian air force w at the republic day parade 2021 so for 2021 it was shivangi singh and she is only second woman fighter jet pilot to be part of the indian air force after bhavana kant clear now indian air force tableau's theme is indian air force transforming for the future this is the theme 
for 2022. Now, India is celebrating the Dash Republic Day on 26th of January 2022. So, the answer is your, it is the 73rd Republic Day. Option C is your answer. So, India is celebrating its 73rd Republic Day on 26th of January 2022. On this day, the Indian constitution came into effect and India became a sovereign state declaring it as a republic. The government of India appointed a drafting committee on 28th of August 1947 and the chairman of the drafting committee was Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Okay, keep this also in mind. Neera Chopra has been awarded Dash for his excellence in sports in January 2022. So he was awarded your Param Vishist Seva Medal. Okay. So Neera Chopra has been honored with the Param Vishist Seva Medal in 2022. He is a Subedar with the 4th Rajputana Rifles in the Indian Army. He had created history by winning India's first athletics gold medal in Olympics 2021 in javelin throw. And in 2020, he received the Visist Shiva medal for his excellence in sports. Okay. How many gallantry awards and other military decorations have been approved by President Ramnath Kovind on 73rd Republic Day? Answer is option C, 384. On the 73rd Republic Day, President Ramnath Kovind recently approved 384 gallantry awards and other military decoration for the personnel of the security forces. Jambu and Kashmir Police Assistant Sub-Inspector Babu Ram has been awarded the Ashok Chakra posthumously at the Republic Day Parade. Clear? Next question is, which player has recently been appointed as its brand ambassador by the plant-based meat company Good Dot? So, answer is option D. Neeraj Chopra. He has been appointed its brand ambassador. So, plant-based meat company Good Dot recently appointed Neeraj Chopra as its brand ambassador. Now, the company wants to create awareness about a new category of plant-based meats with the help of Neeraj Chopra. The company offers mutton, chicken and egg options and is a direct to consumer player as of now. Okay. Now, your next question is Which of the following telecom companies has tied up with Finland's Ulu University to accelerate research and standardization in 6G technology? Answer is option A Reliance Geos. Okay. So, Reliance Geo recently tied up with Ulu University in Finland to accelerate research and standardization in 6G technology. Now, the two will collaborate in research and development of 3D connected intelligence in space communication, holographic, beam forming, cyber security, microelectronics and photonics. Clear? The next question is, Buddhadev Bhattacharya has rejected the Padma Bhushan Award in January 2022. Now, he was the former Chief Minister of which state? Your answer is option A, West Bengal. Clear? So, Buddhadev Bhattacharya, former West Bengal CM, has rejected the Padma Bhushan Award. The reason cited was that he was not informed about being given the award. Now, he had served as the Chief Minister of West Bengal 
फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड टू टू थाउजेंड इलेवन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हु इज द ऑथर ऑफ द बुक अ लिटिल बुक ऑफ इंडिया सेलिब्रेटिंग सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी रस्किन बॉन्ड सो ही इज द ऑथर ऑफ द बुक ऑथर रस्किन बॉन्ड हैज कम आउट विथ हिज न्यू बुक a little book of india celebrating 75 years of independence now the book has been published by penguin random house india ruskin bond is the recipient of several awards like sahitya academy award sahitya academy bal sahitya puraskar padma shri padma bhushan etc one important fact anukriti upadhyay has won the sushila devi award 2021 for the best book of fiction named kind sugi this is the name in december 2021 so please keep this in mind these are also important next question is who among the following has hosted the first india central asia summit in a virtual format in january 2022 so it has been hosted by our prime minister shri narendra modi clear so prime minister narendra modi hosted the first india central asia summit in a virtual format now this is the first engagement of its kind between india and the central asian countries at the level of leaders the summit saw the participation of five countries which are kazakhstan Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Kyrgyz Republic. One important fact: in the month of August 2021, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has become the first Indian Prime Minister to chair an open debate at the United Nations Security Council. So he was become the first Indian Prime Minister. to chair an open debate at the united nations security council in 2021 clear now the next question is which of the following companies has opened one of the country's largest electric vehicle charging hubs in delhi so answer is option b reliance bp mobility limited okay now this is a joint venture between reliance industries limited and energy super major bp has opened one of the country's largest electric vehicle charging hubs in delhi now reliance bp mobility limited is operating under the brand name jio bp and the jio bp branded mobility station is located at navade navi mumbai okay now the next question is in badminton the first edition of the odisha open kicked off at dash in january 2022 so it has happened in option b katak <coughs> your answer is katak so in badminton the first edition of odisha open 2022 kicked off at the jawaharlal nehru indoor stadium in katak over 300 shuttlers from 18 different countries are participating in this event <clears throat> now odisha cm is navin patnayak governor of odisha is ganeshi lal capital is bhuvaneswar the lok sabha seats in odisha is 21 the rajya sabha seats in odisha is 10 the state bird of the of odisha is indian roller and the state animal is sambar deer okay moving towards our next question which of the following ministries has recently released a five year road map for the electronics sector so answer is option d ministry of electronics and information technology now the ministry of electronics and information technology has recently released a five year road map for the electronics sector according to which by the year 2026 india will manufacture and export electronics equipment worth 300 billion dollar clear now which of these countries
has recently declared environmental emergency due to oil spill uh, your answer is option b peru okay so the country of peru has recently declared a 90 day environmental emergency due to oil spill about 6000 barrels of oil have fallen in the pacific ocean a tanker from the Spanish energy firm Repsol was carrying oil to the Ventanilla refinery in Peru. And the name of this tanker is Mary Doricum. Clear? Yeah. Next question. The World Bank has recently approved a loan of rupees 1000 crore for which state government? Answer is option B. Government of West Bengal. Clear? Yeah. So, the World Bank has recently approved a loan of rupees 1000 crore for the government of West Bengal, out of which rupees 400 crore will be used to implement the programs run by the state government. Weak and poor groups will be helped by this loan. Also, the amount will be used to promote digital payments and financial inclusion. Yeah. Next, which famous person has recently been honored by the Assam government with the Assam Babho Award? Your answer is option A, Ratan Tata. Clear? So, the Assam government has recently honored one of the country's most eminent industrialists, Mr. Ratan Tata, with the Assam Babho Award during an event held in Guwahati while the Assam Saurav Award was given to Professor Deepak Chand Jain, Lovlina Borohan, Professor Kamalendu Dev Krori, Dr. Lakshman S. and Neil Pavan Barua. Okay, so these people has got Assam Saurav Award and the Assam Babho Award was given to Mr. Ratan Tata by the Assam government. Clear? Next question, who has been announced as the captain of the Lucknow Super Giants team which took part in the IPL for the first time. So its captain is option C, K. L. Rahul. Clear? So the Lucknow Super Giants team which will took part in the IPL for the first time has recently announced the appointment of K. L. Rahul as its captain. The owner of this team is Sanjeev Goenka Group. Whereas Gautam Gambhir has already joined the team as a mentor and K. L. Rahul is the captain of this Lucknow Super Giant. Clear? Next, according to which of the following companies its new artificial intelligence supercomputer will be the fastest AI supercomputer in the world by the middle of 2022? So, it is your meta. Option A is your answer. So, according to Meta Company, its new artificial intelligence supercomputer will be the fastest AI supercomputer in the world by the middle of 2022. AI, which we called artificial intelligence, can currently perform tasks such as translating text between languages and helping to identify potentially harmful content. Okay. Now, moving towards next question, which of the following ministers has released a pictorial book on India's women unsung heroes of freedom struggle in January 2022? So, answer is option B, Minakshi Lekhi. She has released the book. So, Minakshi Lekhi, Union Minister of State for Culture, has released a pictorial book on India's Women Unsung Heroes of Freedom Struggle. The book has been released in partnership with Amar Chitra Katha. The book contains the stories of queens who battled colonial powers in the struggle against imperial rule. This is mentioned in the book. Clear? Yeah? Now, what is the name of the app that was launched by the Indian Parliament in January 2022. 
So the name of the app is option B, Digital Sansad app. Okay. So the parliament has launched a new app by the name Digital Sansad. This app will make it easier for the people to follow the proceedings in the parliament and also their own lawmakers. It will also help the members of parliament to access services such as checking personal updates and the MPs can log in for attendance, give questions for the question hour or submit notices for debates. And the app name is Digital Sansad app which is launched by the Indian parliament. Now, which brand has retained its position as the most valuable brand in 2022 as per the brand finance 2022 global 500 report answer is option d apple yeah so according to the recent brand finance 2022 global 500 report the apple brand has retained its position as the most valuable brand in 2022 as well now this is the highest brand value ever recorded in the finance global 500 ranking history now amazon has been placed in the second rank and google has been placed at the third okay now moving towards your next question uh, which of the following countries has recently handed over 70000 ak203 kalashnikov assault rifles to the indian armed forces Answer is option A, Russia. Clear? So, Russia has recently handed over all 70,000 AK-203 Kalashnikov assault rifles to the Indian Armed Forces. Now, out of these, 6,70,000 were ordered. Okay? For this, a contract was signed between India and Russia. And the cost of this contract was 5,124 crore. Okay. Next question is. Which of the following government boards has recently launched Spice Exchange Portal? Answer is option B. Spices Board of India. Clear? So, the Spices Board of India has recently launched Spice Exchange Portal which will act as a meeting point between Indian spice exporters and buyers across the globe. The platform has been launched by the Union Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Okay, keep this in mind. It has been launched by the Union Ministry of Commerce and Industry. <coughs> now, what is the rank of India in the list of 120, 180 countries in the corruption perception index 2021 so india rank is 85th okay so india has been ranked 85th out of 180 countries in the corruption perception index 2021 a report which was released by transparency international whereas in 2020 india was ranked 86th Okay, in 2020, the rank of India was 86th. In this sense, this improvement in India is even better. And Denmark ranks first in this index with a score of 88. Okay, now the first is Denmark and India's rank is 85. Next question, Ramgad Vishdhari Wildlife Sanctuary has recently been announced to be notified as the fourth tiger reserve of which state so it is your <coughs> sorry option c rajasthan clear so ramgad vishdhari wildlife sanctuary has recently been announced to be notified as the fourth tiger reserve of rajasthan this ramgad vishdhari sanctuary will be spread over an area of 1,071 square kilometers. Now, this sanctuary was established in 1982. Okay. And there are eight villages in the main areas of the sanctuary. 
and it was established in 1982 clear moving towards next question name the coal secretary who has recently launched the koela darpan portal for sharing key performance indicators related to the coal sector so the name is anil kumar jain clear so coal secretary dr anil kumar jain has recently launched a portal named koela darpan for sharing key performance indicators related to the coal sector okay now next in which of the following countries the online safety bill has been implemented recently from january 23 2022 so answer is option a australia clear now recently online safety bill has come into force in the country of australia from 23rd january 2022 now this bill allows adults to report online bullying in australia to e safety commissioner julie inman grant theek hai next shri amit shah has released india's first district good governance index for 20 district of which union territory answer is option b jammu and kashmir so union home and cooperation minister amit shah has recently released india's first district good governance index for 20 district of the union territory of jammu and kashmir in which five districts of jammu and kashmir which is jammu doda sambha pulwama and shrinagar have topped clear which of the following commission has recently released a report title banking on electric vehicles in india so this report has been released by option a niti ayog clear so niti ayog has recently released a report title banking on electric vehicles in india developed in collaboration with us based non profit organization rocky mountain institute and rmi india okay janavi dangeti a young girl from which indian state has recently became the first indian to complete the prestigious nasa program so she belongs with andhra pradesh option b is your answer so janavi dangeti a young girl from the indian state of andhra pradesh recently completed nasa's international air and space program at the kennedy space center in alabama us thus becoming the first indian to do this task she has been the campus ambassador for several organization including star an indian private aerospace company okay now guinness world record holder the world's oldest living person has passed away recently at the age of so it is your 112 years this is the age so guinness world record holder Saturnino de la Fuente Gracia he is from Spain the world's oldest living person has recently died at the age of 112 years and 341 days he claimed the record as the oldest person in Maine in September 2021 when he was exactly 112 years and 211 days old next question which festivals of madhya pradesh has been awarded as india's unique water and adventure carnival in madrid spain so it is your hanuvantiya jal mahotsav option a okay this is your answer so the state's annual tourism event hanuvantiya water festival ya we can say hanuvantiya jal festival 
has been recognized internationally as India's unique water and adventure carnival at Madrid, Spain on 20th January this year. Yeah. How many year old collar wally tigress has died recently in the Pench Tiger Reserve of India? So the option is option B, 16 year old. So recently a 16 year old Collar Wali Tigress has died in India's Pench Tiger Reserve. Now, Collar Wali Tigress was born in 2005. This tigress played an important role in increasing the population of tigers. Now, this tigress gave birth to 29 cubs in her lifetime, and this is a world record. Okay. The central government has appointed Vikram Dev Dutt as the new CMD of which airline company? So the airline company is your option B, Air India. Yeah. The central government has recently appointed Vikram Dev Dutt as the new CMD of Air India airline company. Now he is a 1993 batch IS officer of Arunachal Pradesh, Goa, Mizoram, and UT's cadre. He has been appointed as the chief of Air India in the rank and pay of additional secretary. Clear? Which of the following Lieutenant General has been elected as the next vice chief of army staff? Answer is option B, Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey. So, Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey has been recently elected as the next Vice Chief of Army Staff, succeeding Lieutenant General C.P. Mohanty, who is due to retire on 31st of January. Now, General Pandey was commissioned into the Corps of Engineers in December 1982. The Union Cabinet has recently approved investment of how many crore rupees in IRDA? Answer is option B, 1500 crore. So, the Union Cabinet has recently approved investment of rupees 1500 crore in IRDA. Now, this will help IRDA to create 10,200 jobs annually and reduce carbon emissions equivalent to about 7.49 million tons per annum. Okay. Next question. Which of the following countries, Christian, Democrat, Roberta Metsola, has been recently elected as the President of the Parliament of the European Union? Your answer is option A, Malta. Clear? Yeah? So, Malta's Christian Democrat, Roberta Metsola, has recently been elected President of the Parliament of the European Union. Now, she is only the third woman to be elected to the position. She is the youngest President of the European Parliament. Metsola was the candidate for the largest group in Parliament. Yeah. Next is, Russia, China, Iranian Army has recently conducted joint naval exercise Chiru 2Q22 in which Gulf? Answer is option B, Gulf of Oman. Clear? So, the Russia, China, Iran Army recently conducted joint naval exercise Chiru 2Q22 in the Gulf of Oman. Now, the aim of this exercise is to deepen practical cooperation between the navies of the three countries. More than 60 aircraft along with 140 warships and about 10,000 military personnel will participate in this naval exercise. Clear? So, guys, this was for the day. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you like our video, then do subscribe the channel and share with your 
फ्रेंड्स हैप्पी लर्निंग फ्रॉम द टीम कॉम्पिटिटिव पीडिया मे गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल थैंक यू